any of my streaks break, it's cause of it's cause of the other person. Know that. Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. Currently my room is like my life right now. It's a mess. I'm pretty happy because the other day me and my friend reached a milestone that I didn't think we were ever gonna reach. Right there it says 366 days. So that means we reached 365 days yesterday. We reached a full year and I'm about to reach it with another friend, Andreas right here. We're at like 363 I believe. In this video, I am gonna be telling you guys my top five tips for getting a year-long Snapchat streak. I do consider myself an expert on Snapchat just because I do have a lot of streaks right now. Tip number one. For me, tip number one is definitely maintaining a schedule. One of the most important things is having a set time from when you send a snap. So when you like doing this, you gotta make sure you know when you're doing it. Whenever I'm about to like go to sleep or whenever I wake up in the morning, I wanna make sure I send a Snapchat. Now, if you're at least talking to this person all day on Snapchat, you don't have to worry about it. As long as you send one snap a day, that's good. Most of you guys know that the streak begins when you start talking to someone and you just start snapping them and that streak just like slowly goes from like 3 to 10 to 30 to 50 to 60. That's how most streaks start is you just start talking to someone and you guys just snap all day. After a while, you have to make sure you maintain the schedule so that way you can keep up with that streak. Tip number two, mass snap is gonna be your best friend. Let me tell you something right now. When you got a couple streaks going, it's a pretty good idea to use mass snap. Now for me personally, I do it in the morning and the night and I make sure to take one good looking pic. I send it to everyone. You know, one of me looking very, very cute. Mass snap is gonna be your best friend because you don't have to worry about making five different snapshots. You can just do one, roll it up in a nice package that makes it look like it's personalized, but really, you're sending it to everyone. I do that all the time. I'll say something vague enough to where it applies to every snap that I'm sending, but people won't really recognize that it's a mass snap. Once you get to the 100 or 200 day streak, mass snap is gonna be so helpful. Okay, so for tip number three, I recommend usually having seven streaks going on at the same time. Usually I think Snapchat can only let you have like three, five, or seven best friends on there. So what I try to do guys is that I try to make sure I send it to all my best friends on Snapchat. It's easy to just click on everybody's name. It's kind of hard to maintain snapchats with people outside of your best friends because what I've noticed is that if they're not in your best friend list they usually just appear from the last person you message so usually if they're the last person you message they're gonna be pretty way in the bottom from your best friends list also away from your recent people so you might forget to mass snap them or you just might forget to snapchat them entirely for the whole day so my recommendation for sure is to have at least seven streaks going anymore and you're risking breaking a streak and you don't want to be that guy that breaks the streak now because once you become that guy no one's gonna trust you with the streak tip number follow do whatever it takes to maintain that streak so a month ago I broke my phone I shattered it well I didn't shatter it my friend shattered it but that's a story for another day so I shattered my phone and my first thought was what am I gonna do with my streaks my friends depend on me to send them a snapchat so in my head I'm thinking to myself junior you got a couple options you can either destroy your streaks or you can do something about it. So what I did is I used my family members phones, I used my friends phones, I used any phone I could to send those snapshots. And guess what, I maintained all my snapshots throughout the whole week until I got a new phone. You gotta think outside the box if you really wanna maintain those streaks. Having a year long streak, that is every single day me snapchatting that person. So you have to understand, there's gonna be some days that you're gonna be busy, you're gonna not have internet, you won't even have your phone. It's your job, if you wanna get that year long streak, do whatever it takes for you to maintain that streak with that certain person. Tip number five, obviously Snapchat is a two way streak and it's up to the other person as well to maintain that streak with you. I have a lot of friends on here that if I don't Snapchat them back, they're gonna hound me. They're gonna get me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. They're gonna be like, yo, Junior, check your phone, check your Snapchat, you gotta snap me back. Cause those sands of time are gonna be the death of you. You know what I'm talking about? The sands of time. The sands of freaking time. My heart drops whenever I see them because I know I got a limited amount of time before 
the streak's gonna end. I have to send the message to them, and then I also have to make sure they send me a snap back. But yeah, it takes two to tango, and it takes two to Snapchat. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really happy that I maintained a year-long streak with Simon. He's a really, really good friend from Ireland. I'm 100% I'm sure he's from Ireland. Here's his Twitter information. If you guys wanna follow me on Snapchat, I'm gonna make sure to put the code right here. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any more tips to maintaining a good snapchat streak make sure to leave that in the comment section below now if you found this information helpful make sure to give this a big thumbs up thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video adios